Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Fremont Brewing. This is their head full of dynamite. And this is version 3.0. Version 3 uh, they did a bunch of different versions of this particular series. Uh, this one has Enigma, Mosaic, and Nelson hops in it. Uh, and it's not a big beer. 6.8% uh, uh, so it's a regular IPA. Uh, they are saying it's hazy. I don't know if it's going to be to the New England style hazy or not. Uh, these guys are up in Washington. Uh, this was sent to me by Bill and he has his own Bill re Beer Review channel. Beer Hounds Beer Reviews. Check him out. Uh, I'm subscribed to him and uh, check out his reviews. Uh, uh, he sent me a nice beer mail package, and this one is the last one. It wraps up his package. So, Bill, thanks a bunch for sending them to me. I do appreciate it, sir. Hopefully, you'll get some new subscribers. Uh, Untap says it's 85 IBUs, so that's a lot of IBUs for a 6.8% IPA. So, probably going to have some strong bitterness to this one. Probably wouldn't be the first one I'd jump into if I was getting into IPAs. Uh, Commercial Scrimp says Head Full of Dynamite is an ongoing series of hazy IPAs, each one different from the one before. Friends bring happiness into your life, best friends bring beer. Oh yeah. So, the pictures here on Untapped, it does look hazy, but it doesn't look like an orange juice in the glass. So I don't think it's going to be to the New England style. Probably a hazy West Coast style. So, uh, canned on date on this one says 06-21-21. So, June 21st, 21, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap right around label. Into the glass we go. Does look hazy coming out, guys? Alright. Head full of dynamite. Almost two fingers of head on that pour, and guys, it is very, very hazy. I mean, it, it's pretty damn close to the New England style. Some of these pictures don't do it justice on untapped. That, appearance-wise, looks like it's close enough to me to call it a New England style, so. I take back what I said. Uh, looks pretty good. It's a really good-looking beer. To the nose we go. My citrusy notes, hints of pineapple, maybe a little bit of oranges in there, and maybe a hint of some grapefruit. That's pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Bill. Thank you, sir. It does taste like 85 IBUs, but of course I'm accustomed to drinking bitter beers uh, uh, you may find it too bitter and then again you may like it I tell you guys all the time pick up one if you like it buy more now second taste there I am giving a little bit more bitterness to it so It's still a tasty beer. That's a well-made beer. I call it well-hidden. Nice citrusy, grapefruit, orange. Pleasant beer. Very nice. Does have a twang to it, though, so those IBUs are probably correct. Uh, I'd say it's uh, probably is 85. Uh, and again, uh, wouldn't be the very first one if I was getting into IPAs with the IBUs being that 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 much so very nice 
very colorful label on the can uh, very nice guys so let's go sip on it and see what we end up with it's cold right out of the fridge and let's let it come up to room temperature all right guys i'm back my sipping on it for a while nice place thing is left on the top there where i pulled it into the glass and i had that two fingers of head uh it's a decent beer guys it's 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 a fairly tasty beer uh it does have the abv and the canned on date uh I enjoyed it. I mean, this would be something, uh, you know, it's almost to my go-to range at 6.8%. It's close enough to 7% to me that I would probably buy this beer. I mean, it's uh, very enjoyable. It does have strong bitterness, though, with uh, 85 IBU. That's that's a lot for a single IPA. That's a double IPA uh, IBUs, man. But, like I said, I've been, I'm used to it, so, you know, it is what it is there. Final chuck. Medium mouthfeel, nice citrusy, a little bit of pineapple, grapefruit, oranges, fairly tasty. Mm -hmm. But like I said, mm -hmm. does have some bitterness to go with it. So uh, just be aware of that if you're not used to drinking a, a, an 85 IBU single IPA. It's going to have a little bit of bitterness to it. So to me, guys, uh, 90, uh, A minus. Uh, beer Advocates only had one person commented on it since it's a fairly new release. And Untapped has it at uh, 3.96, which is upper B+. Plus. Uh, like I said, I was impressed enough that I'm going to give it the A-. Uh, and they've had 21... Well, let me, let me take that back. This is the Untapped. I didn't look up the version 3.0. It just come up head full of dynamite. So evidently all of them are going to be the same. Let me do this real quick. And see if they have the 3.0 listed. Yes, they do. So let me jump over there real quick. Yeah. All right, 6.8. All right, I'm taking the IBUs back because it doesn't have the IBUs listed on this one, but it, it tastes pretty strong to me. Uh, has quite a bit of bitterness, and if they're doing all of them at about the same ABV, it, it's probably going to be close anyway. But I thought it was fairly strong IBUs. Uh, now for the version 3.0, uh, the pictures of it look more like what I had in my glass on this particular one. Uh, so uh, they've got it at 4.02, which is A minus. That's exactly where I've got this one. Uh, and they've had 343 people comment on it. So anyway, if you've had a head full of dynamite, this version, 3.0, Hazy IPA, Enigma, Mosaic, and Nelson Sovereign Hops, let me know what you think. And once again, Bill, thanks for the wonderful beer mail package. It was damn sure appreciated, sir. Uh, tasty beers you sent me. And uh, I feel damn lucky I have a beer reviewer sending me beer. So that was awesome. Thank you, sir. So, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.